I'm Ethan Moore from Stockholm Supply here with uh, Malcolm Lynette and the uh, Font Hill Mill. Is that the name of your business? That's the name, yes. Awesome. So we got some pieces here. Uh, Malcolm, tell us about these pieces that we have. Yeah, so we just had a bit of an irregular walnut slab that we cut up here and uh, kind of turned into a, a rough table mold, so you could say. This and is going to be a, an epoxy table. Right? That's going to be an epoxy table, yeah. We're going to fill, fill in the middle there. Okay, so now what we're going to do here, we're... We're going to resaw these. We're going to cut them in half and we're going to book match them essentially so you have two tables yeah, so out of one. It'll open up and I can choose which way I'd like them to be oriented when it's all finished. Perfect. Let's do some book matching then. This is the piece here we got set up. Now, on the one side, I got the ripper cloth set all the way to the top and then I got it set quite low on the back side. So it's nice because you can adjust those two different claws to two different heights. Now, when you're lining a piece up like this, to book match to resaw down the middle what you're gonna do I always line it up to the blade so what you can do here um, you can straighten this piece out one way or another just by tipping it in the little ripper here now once you got it lined up you just tighten it up with those claws and you do the same thing on the back side um, so we'll just lock that in when it's lined up with the blade and that's going to get you close uh, to parallel with the outside of the piece here. Now, you're never going to be able to get it to perfect uh, because these pieces are often a little bit bowed or warped, but this will get you close. Uh, now, I have the micro mag stop block set to the center here. So if I just go up against the micro mag here, lock it up, that should be, I haven't even checked again, but that should be right down the middle of my piece. So let's make a cut here once I lower my guides. So we got her all uh, cut up here. Let's lay them on the ground and see what they look like after we book match them. Got them all book matched. Um, now, Malcolm, did you change your mind at all what you're going to do with them? Or Well, after seeing them like this, I think I'm kind of, I don't know, 50-50. I might make individual boards out of each and kind of make it uh, them all match each other. Or I might try and throw a table or two together. We'll uh, have to see. Well, when you're done them, I'd like you, if you can, bring them back and maybe we'll do some sanding on them with the plot master. Couldn't say no to that. Perfect. All right. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if anybody else has any questions on the Little Ripper or bandsaws, feel free to let me know. You can email me at info at stockroomsupply.com or just comment on this video. Now, if you want to see future videos, please subscribe. Thank you much.